What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode number 168 of the Games and Grass podcast. My name is Sunji here, as always, with Finn Steele. Hello. What's happening, Finn? Yeah, I'm all good. You know, the usual. How are you? Yeah, all good. All yeah. good. Um, yeah. These episodes come around quicker and quicker each week. <laughs> they really are. You are still recover- Have you recovered from the uh, rumble yet? Sort of. I think so. I mean, it was so late finishing. Like, I can't <laughs> honestly believe that it was like quarter past, 20 past five or whatever it was. It was very late. Yeah. It was pretty mental. It's very tired. Yeah, it was stupid late. <laughs> it was fun though. It's a good night. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a really fun night. Then I had to go to commentary the day after for Wrestle Carnival. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to work commentary there. So oh, it was really good. Really good. I mean, that awesome. it's it's like next level. Yeah. It's cool doing like the school halls and, you know, town halls and them sort of things. But obviously the HMB Empire is a whole new level of like awesome. Yeah. That's what it's it a, a, a prop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like a proper established league great venue yeah so yeah it was uh, it was really really good great show um you know the the guys and girls that wrestle on that show make uh my life as a commentator so easy excellent but yeah sort of picture you were saying it was like wow this is pretty huge this is a big deal yeah it definitely feels like it it yeah. definitely especially when you're there and you're sort of so where where um rc and myself sit we're on the stage like where the entrance is oh yeah so you know everyone sort of comes out in front of us and the fireworks and the, the, the smoke and stuff goes off wow. right near us. And we, we can look out into the entire crowd and straight at the ring. So it's uh, yeah, it feels, it definitely feels like a, a bigger deal than, um, you know, some of, some of the other ones that I do, it, yeah. you know, it definitely, and that's not to discredit any of the other ones. Cause I love doing all of the shows that I do, but um, this one definitely feels a bit more big budget and a bit more of a, a, a step up. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Moving yeah, up we'll, in the world. <laughs> but we're in Telford. We're in Telford on Saturday. Yeah. Very for nice. Scotty Too Hotty and uh, APW, which will be good. Awesome. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be Good-board awesome. That. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be really, really good. Um, so, yeah, speaking of the weekend, it was great to do the pre-show before the pre-show again, and it was a blast. We had a great time. Yeah, really cool. Thanks to anyone who showed up. Much appreciated. Yeah, always, definitely. Always you know, comments and interaction all the way through. Um, yeah, Kay did a great job of producing. Yeah, as she always does. And uh, yeah, Steve, yeah, Steve was here as well. Yeah, Steve was also here. Yeah, and yeah, it was no, great it was to good. have the gang back together. It was good. Yeah, good to have Steve back. Very yes, cool. definitely. Yeah. Um, speaking of Steve, he did added time live last night for the final hour of the uh, football transfer window. Nice. Uh, which was great. I sort of tuned in for that, and that was really good. So pleased for Steve and the direction that added time is is heading in. Yeah, excellent. Good stuff. Yeah, and just the way that Team Games and Graps are heading in general. I think we're doing really good so far. Yeah, I'm happy where it's going, and uh, more good stuff to come. Yeah, definitely. I want to be super consistent with the pre-shows, because I think the pre-shows are great, and it's a really good way to sort of get eyes on, on to us. Yeah, definitely. They were, they were always one of my most popular things back in the day. Um, yeah. So yeah, to bring that back uh, full time will be a good thing for sure. Definitely. And when uh, when two K twenty three comes out, we should definitely do sort of more sort of multi multiplayer streams. Yeah, on definitely. it. Um, awesome. Just to just to push it a bit and uh, just to help us out at the end of the day. So yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But yeah, we hope you guys are enjoying our content. We hope you're enjoying the twenty twenty three resurgence of team games and graps and all the stuff that we do. Um, I was going to do the clubhouse this week, but to be honest, the week has passed me by so quickly. I just haven't had a chance. Yeah, so um, I aim to do it next week um, and we'll, we'll just play it by ear. The most important thing for me is doing this podcast at, uh, at the minute. So cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's the most important thing. Good stuff. I have Brown. I have yet to recover from the bumble. So I have a, I have Brown. I mean, yeah, I've I've been drinking Definitely. more brown than I have been recently, <laughs> yeah. for sure, over the last couple of days because <laughs> it just wipes you out, doesn't it? Because yeah. you know, you you go by the time. I mean, what time did you get home? Like half five? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, but it's stupid. The birds are about chirping by then. <laughs> I know. It's like when I got home, it's like oh, I don't feel tired anymore. 
<laughs> what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> you have to like try and force yourself to sleep and then like you get up in the morning you're like, oh my God, I don't know why I stay up and watch live wrestling for yeah. fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, but then we'll do it again because, you know, wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty happy. Then if you, if you heard me when I was leaving, you said, you'd think you said something like, have a safe trip home. I was like, you too. <laughs> I, got, I got in the car. I was like, <laughs> wait, did, did, did I say that? <laughs> uh. But, you know, you, you, I didn't hear you, but even if I did, you can be forgiven because of the time of day that it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. I have to have a safe trip up the stairs. <laughs> that's true, yeah. No time to fall down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the pay-per-views on a Saturday now. Yes. It's, at least it's at least one day to get recover. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's much, much better. Um, so, the, yeah, the next one we'll do will be for the Elimination Chamber mm. in, like, literally two weeks this Saturday, I think it is. Is it really? Wow. Yeah. That's pretty so cool. So we'll start prom- we'll start promoting the the shit out of uh, of that. Cool. Yeah, we'll to. do that. Yeah. Uh, so Finn. Hello. What have you been playing in the uh, the time since we last recorded the podcast? Um, well, I've got a few platinums. I've got not one, not four, but three platinum trophies. Not one, not four, but three. Yes, correct. <laughs> Don't worry about two. <laughs> Don't worry about two. No, two two doesn't matter. The- it's three. What about the three? Right. Good things. Okay. Threes. Well, get, explain what they are, and then give yourself a round of applause. Okay. So the first one was on the PS3. It was No More Heroes: Heroes Paradise, which is a remake or remaster of a Wii game on the PS3. Not the best port. Runs frame rate's not the best. Um, looks a bit dodgy, but it still plays very well. It's still a very fun <laughs> game. Um, okay. I played. Funny enough, I played the Switch version just to see. The difference and switch version ones are way better. Stick to the FPS. It's like, oh, is this how the game's supposed to feel? This is great. <laughs> but um, so yeah, if yeah. you do play it, play the Switch version. It's very good. Uh, I will play the second one soon on Switch because I just really enjoyed it. It was really, really good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then I platinumed what else? Uh, oh, Golf Club Wasteland, which is a little indie game. It's a golf game, but it's set uh, in like a post apocalyptic. Uh, wasteland. Everyone, I hope humanity's moved on to Mars because Earth has uh, been basically destroyed at this point. Uh, it's become a desolate... I'm pretty certain that I own this on Switch. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's a desolate wasteland which people go to Earth to play golf. That's basically what Earth is for. Um, okay. and, you're, and you're on Earth playing golf, listening to uh, the radio from Mars. It's uh, radio nostalgia from Mars. And listening to uh, people tell their stories uh, from bef- from their time on earth before the apocalypse and it's very okay. very atmospheric very good music's excellent as well it's very cool. good if, and you enjoyed it yeah really really good um if you do play it play it with the headphones it adds to it for sure adds to the atmosphere. okay uh but yeah did, is, that, is that a game that, did you buy that game or was it on playstation plus collection or uh, i bought it It was only like a couple of quid i think it was on the okay. sale i mean yeah, really good trophies for the most part really there's one which you have to beat the entire game on iron mode they call it it's basically Play the whole thing without hitting a like a like a hazard without going over par, which is annoying. Right, okay. Uh, however, thankfully, you can. It looks like you're going to fail, or the ball starts turning towards a hazard. You can pause the game and quit out the dashboard and come back in. So it's, Finn it's, used the sports term. Yeah. Finn I, used the sports I, term I, without I going <laughs> over par. I did the sports. Yeah, I know golf. So golf, you're the most <laughs> golf person of all time. Oh, yeah. That's I, that, and that confirmed it. Yeah, I played Wii golf. Come on, I know. I know what it was like. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, really, really good game. Um, so yeah, they cheese the platinum a little bit, but I, I, yeah, it was worth it. Yeah. Very cool game. Yeah. Uh, and last yeah. one was uh, Dark Cloud, which is a PS2 game bought on PS4. Oh yeah, um, and yeah, excellent. Uh, classic PS2 game it is showing its age a little bit, um, but really fun. Worth the play if you're into old school dungeon crawlers and building little towns is fun. And yeah, sounds then, good. Yeah, but then I was pretty overpowered. I got <laughs> I grinded out and got like the best weapons and best character was like this little cat girl with a slingshot, just d- destroying everything. It was great. <laughs> nice. And, That's the uh, game you've been streaming, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Really fun game. Enjoyed it a lot. Good. And, so uh, give yourself a round of applause for the for the platinum trophies. Yeah, round of applause. Where's my soundboard gone? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love that sound effect so much. I love how it's like it peters out at the end of the clapping. Yeah. Woo. Like everyone's like, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, great. <laughs> so good. Um, I think it's about it for Platinum. So what else? I also started the uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Uh, the first one had Mega Man 136, which are all NES games. And this has 6 through 10. Uh, 6 is Super Nintendo, 7 is PS1, and then 8 and 9, no, 9 and 10 are like Xbox Live Arcade games. So they brought back the oh, old Jesus. nostalgic NES style games. They're very cool. And uh, yeah, coming up to 8, finishing that off. Nice. Uh, the voice acting in 8 is hilarious, by the way. Cause it's, uh, Hilariously bad or? Awful, yeah. Uh, I'll put a clip on Twitter. I might be able to play it, actually. Let me find it. Uh, oh, awesome. It's, you know, like a early PS1 poorly translated Japanese game. You know what I mean? You know the type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Cover. There we go. must recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. <laughs> That's a good question. We may be able to locate another energy emission from the radar room. <laughs> when we find that here, we'll find Dr. Wowie. Dr. Wowie. We must recover all the yep. energy immediately. You can stop now. All the energy immediately. Stop. I just love oh, how, all uh, the I was... energy immediately. M M Mega Man. <laughs> I just love how he stutters. <laughs> it's, so, it's so bad. It's like they've not bothered to... Um, it's like they've they've not bothered to just cut out any mistakes. Yeah, it, it didn't, didn't bother hiring voice actors to sort. Of, okay, who here speaks English? Yeah. Yeah. You, okay, hop on, hop on the mic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, M M Mega Man. M Mega Man. You stop, Doctor uh, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, unbelievable! It's like um, you remember that time in one of the two K games where they left Jerry the King Lawless mistaken in the DLC. Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me do that again. Something like that. Yeah, he was like, he was reading it, like someone says in the tune, he's like, oh yeah, you're right, let me do it again, let me do it again. It's like, oh yeah. how does it even, that, I mean, that's when they were really starting to not give a shit about the 2K games. Yeah. I can't even remember which one it was, 19 perhaps? Yeah, like 8 or 19. Like 18 that in, or 19, yeah. yeah. There's something like that in Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls. Um, oh couple, really? Yeah. It's pretty much exactly like, exactly like that. It's like, oh, that was very good, let me try that again. And then we the voice line out again. <laughs> a couple of those. <laughs> thing is i understand you know in games like oblivion there's there's thousands of lines of dialogue throughout the entire game yeah so if one slips through the cracks you can almost sort of forgive it but with with that <laughs> i know obviously the guy in Mega Man has read the script yeah but he's done it so poorly the person in the booth has just gone yeah that's great if I could great me. so good <laughs> yeah knocked it straight out of the park well done yeah <laughs> and all, all the uh, bosses have little voice lines, which are always funny. He would say out the mood, the name of their moves, like Fire Slash, yeah, or, 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 or Lunar Beam, something like that. We've got terrible voice acting. It was hilarious. This <laughs> <laughs> is unbelievable. Um, I, I love voice acting from that PS1 era. Yeah, it's so good. So good. <laughs> like are, Resident Evil. Yeah, you're almost a jail sandwich. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the master of unlocking. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'll be it'll, that will be taking the piss out of forever. Oh, forever, yeah, and it's great, and rightly so, also because it's really, really terrible. <laughs> uh, the master of unlocking, Jill Valentine. Yeah, almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> Such a weird joke to crack as you've just almost been crushed by a massive fucking ceiling block, <laughs> yeah. and also in the midst of a terrible, terrible situation where the. You're in a mansion riddled with zombies, dogs that are also mutated, um, and you're cracking jokes. Yeah. Uh, that's a bit, I think <laughs> you're almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the tension. <laughs> uh, there's a bit in, there's a place in, uh, I think it's Dead Rising. It's a, like a like a sandwich place called Jill's Sandwiches. It's like a reference to good. that. Good. It's like, huh, nice. Good. I see what you did. I like stuff like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, into, I'm into things like that. That's good. Yeah, me too. Very cool. <laughs> uh, what else have you been playing? Um, well, that's indeed. Um, that's about it, really. I've installed a few things. I've installed um, Plague Tale. I'm not playing the first one of those for jumping on the Xbox, the new one on the Xbox. Okay. Um, which is on Game Pass. Um, haven't played it yet, but I'm looking forward to getting into it. Um, so you're going to play, so you've got the first one installed, yeah? Yeah, yeah. First one installed. And I'll, once I'm done with that, I'll jump on the Xbox and download that, the second one on Game Pass. Is the first one not on Game Pass? 
It used to be. It's not anymore. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. But it was on Tasters in Plus a while ago, so it's in my collections. Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. You'll enjoy that. I think so. I've been looking up it's, bits and pieces. There's, there's parts of it that are a little annoying. Yeah. Let's get but, um, it's all this 10 and a half out of 10 game, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's one that I, I mean, I've, I've, you know, attempted to go back and do it th- two or three times that it's just sort of, uh, I start playing it and I really enjoy it and then something else just sidetracks me. But it is one that I want to finally get through because I do want to play the second one as well because I've heard nothing but good things about it. So, mm. But yeah, um, I think that's about it really. I want to get back to Bayonetta 3 at some point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was about it for me. How about yourself? Uh, I've been playing God of War. Nice, finally. Have you got been, the spear yet? Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've, been tr- yeah, I've got the spear, yeah. <laughs> Nice. What's I been? didn't even. I weren't expecting it as well. I weren't <laughs> expecting the spear. I didn't know. Didn't know it was there. But um, That's a it, to be honest, the spear is awesome. It's very cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's really good. So um, I'm well over. I'm probably about three quarters of the way through now. So I, I, um, I aim to sort of get it finished, um, perhaps over the weekend or you know middle of next week. Cool. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm not finding the same complaints that you did. But I think <laughs> I get less irritated by that shit than you do. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah because sometimes i need the help on the puzzles because i'm just like i'm dumb as shit basically so i just I, sometimes i need the help and kratos <laughs> is like do you have any ideas and uh yeah <laughs> good impression that and thanks uh i am christopher judge yeah um it looks just like yeah it. and you know atreus sort of uh yeah it gives you the basically tells you what you need to do i, I, I i'm fine with that because that's what I, that's what i want yeah. i just want to get through it it's not so much i want to enjoy it's... the story i don't want to have to think yeah i don't want it every now and then but it's like when it's there's so many puzzles the puzzles are so frequent and it happens every single time yeah it is every it's single like, time yeah like, okay i'm just up now I'll, but, I'll I do, <laughs> yeah I, i'm it's not something that really bothers me because it you know i want to get through the game i want to just enjoy the story and stuff so uh for me uh, you know, if it helps me get through the game a bit a bit quicker uh, to the next part of story, I'm all good. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think I, I I know you know the idea is to give you a bit of variation, but I'm not really sold on the Atreus bits. Yeah, I know what you mean it's it's certainly different, um, but yeah, it doesn't. It's still good. I did I did enjoy it, but it wasn't it didn't feel as. It's fine. Yeah, it didn't feel. But as I think I don't. I'm not as... into the bow and arrow combat really. I yeah. I've played so many games recently that have bow and arrow combat, <laughs> and it just sort of gets. It's a little bit tired, but it's fine. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It's just I I prefer to use Kratos. Yeah, me too. I think most of the time with Atreus, I just ended up whacking him with the with the bow and arrow more than the actually using yeah. the shots. <laughs> Ski off him or whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but you know it's it's not terrible the Atreus bits. Um, but I I've obviously I've played every single God of War that's come out from the the ones on the PS2, the one you know God of War three and God of War Ascension, mm. but also the ones on the Vita. Nice. Uh, well, the ones that were on the PSP, and I played them on sorry not on the Vita. I played them on PS3, but um, you know I've played them all, and I'm a I'm a Kratos guy, so I don't want to have to play as other people. Yeah. But that's just yeah, me. It's I not terrible. Mean. And I know he's an integral part of the story, and the stuff that you do is an integral part of the story. But I would rather just use Kratos. That's fair. I have God of War Ascension on my PS3. I must have installed it years ago. It's sitting there. Maybe I'll to play that at some point. It's I'll good. I'll play all the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It's, it's exactly what you think it's going to be. Yeah, more God of War. Yeah. Classic PS2 era God of War style gameplay yeah and god, i god you know what uh god of war 3 was my first introduction to god of war oh yeah and i still i still to this day think it's absolutely astonishing that game on a ps3 yeah it's great i love god of war 3 i remember being totally blown away by it but then i went because basically after i bought three um i um they brought out the first ones Again yeah. on PS3. I think I them, actually. Yeah, they brought out. I think they brought two collections out. I think they brought God of War one and two out as a collection. And then they brought the two. Uh, they brought uh, Ghost of Sparta and the other one from the PSP yeah. out as well, with you know just updated graphics and two stick controls basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I played through all of them and loved them. Cool. Yeah, now I've got the yeah. I've got a collection now. I think I've I think I've played them both. 
Yeah, it must have done. I mean, yeah, I played them both. And three. But I think Ascension's not the only one I haven't played. Maybe the PSP one. I can't remember. It was right at the very end of the PS3's life uh, uh, time, I think. Yeah. Well, it wasn't far off. Hmm. Um, it's worth playing, though. It's definitely, you know, it's a, it's a good game. It's a good-looking game. Yeah. Bosses are awesome. There's a really cool boss right at the very end. I'm not going to tell you what about, about it because, nice. you know, spoilers. But... Is, there, is there a spear? No spear in this one, though. Uh, literally just, just Blades of Chaos and make that, you know, some other bits. That's what you need. That is literally all you need, yeah. Yeah, but yeah I'll have to give it a yeah. look. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blast through the rest of uh, God of War, Ragnarok, and I'm going to go back and do the other stuff. Cool. So I feel like, uh, you know, if I if I get the story out of the way, I, I've actually, I've beat the game. That's fine. And then I can go back and do the other stuff as and when and without sort of pressuring myself to do it. Yeah, makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, play Dead Space. Nice. How was it? It's awesome. Yeah, it looks so good. It's, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's just really, really awesome. It's <laughs> uh, exactly what you think it's going to be. It's Dead Space remade, but it, it's remade very true to the original and... It's yeah, it's very very good. If you look, it's probably better. It's better than the original, to be fair. Obviously, yeah. it is because it's newer and shinier, and they've not fucked it up, which that's is good. the most important thing. Yeah, that's good. They've not GTA it. They've not GTA it, no. But it, it's uh, it's very very good. Excellent. I look forward to playing that. I've probably got enough points in my Microsoft account to just buy it outright at this point. Uh, so, <laughs> so maybe I should, maybe I should give it a look. Did you do your? Have you done your win ten matches on Injustice Two yet? Not yet. It's on the list of things to do. But at least that's. that's I did quite... that today. Nice. Is it quite an easy one compared to some of the other ones? Yeah, I just streamed it um, yeah. off from the cloud streaming and did it that way. Oh yeah, I see the way. I did the same with the fishing one from last week in the. Terraria. Oh god, Terraria? that no. G- Stardew Valley. Right. How bad is the fishing in Stardew Valley? That is a wonderful game, by the way. Stardew Great Valley. Game. The fishing sucks. I quite liked it. No, can't tap, do it. Tapping X. Don't like it. Got to keep the box and th- start the fish little... Yeah, thing. it was just annoying. Like, give me Animal Crossing fishing. That's way better. <laughs> just push a button. Yeah, yeah. just push a button. That's, that's all it needs to be. Yeah, Son- Sonic Frontiers was like that as well. Just throw the thing in. Two things later, you got a fish. Yay. Or an item Yay. box. Yeah, there you something. go. All good. Yeah. No messing around needed. <laughs> that's fair. But I did do it, and it's fine. Um, but yeah. There's like there's a really good punch card this week for uh, there's like an easy one. It's like two thousand points. Oh yeah, they they're quite good those ones. Yeah, so I've already redeemed points. a free month of Game Pass already. Nice, it's good. Isn't it? Free Game Pass. It's like it rules. Literally free games. Yeah, so like I will have another enough for another Game Pass so quickly because they just keep chucking punch cards on there that make you earn a ton of ton of points. Yeah, so good. Such a good service great service but speaking of um I actually, i've actually had a look in more detail at the playstation stars program oh yeah um i actually think it's quite good yeah it's all right the, the fact you get my, the points back from your your purchases is pretty good i think i'm pretty yeah good. that's really good yeah there's a few little campaigns on there still got my collectible little products i don't really care about too much but yeah yeah i, I don't care about any of that stuff although yeah. i did spend time rearranging my shelves on oh, yeah. the mobile app yesterday nice. for nobody to ever look at <laughs> yeah, exactly you know? say. no one will ever see it but at least you know they're there and but at least <laughs> i know that it's there yeah <laughs> but um <laughs> they accidentally leaked i know they've already been officially announced now but they accidentally leaked what one of the playstation plus games was going to be oh, on yeah. the campaign the destiny one that, yeah but yeah. they i've actually done it Oh yeah, today. I guess what he got. Uh, but yeah. they they took it off. Oh really? Oh. So I didn't get the points for it. I'm I'm assuming they'll put it back on next week when uh, the PlayStation Plus games do officially get released. Yeah. <laughs> but the campaign was there, but now they've they've put it on there as expired. Oh, that's a shame. Jerks. But the bastards have tr- have gotten me to download Destiny, and now it's sitting there. <laughs> On my console, and I know that I'm going to want to play it. <laughs> it's in like, play me. You know you want to play me. <laughs> yeah, and especially if they're giving the DLC as well as part of um, PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Oh god, you got all these new content. Think of all the new guns you can get. This yeah. one suits. Think the of all the new purple engrams that are going to drop. Yeah, <laughs> it's a shiny. But it's it's sitting there taking up over a hundred gigabytes on my. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my PS5 now, so uh, I am going to play it. 
at some point, but I'm going to get God of War out of the way first before I, because I'm not diving back into that rabbit hole without <laughs> without at least getting God of War and maybe Dead Space finished first. Yeah, it's a smart, that's a smart thing to do. Yeah, so I'll be there forever playing it. Yeah, I'll just quickly nip on, have a do, you know, do a couple of missions, maybe, you know, do a strike. Yeah, just thing you know. PS6 is about to come out, and Destiny Destiny 2 is about to be brought out for that. And you've <laughs> yeah. not played any of the games that you've bought. <laughs> Pretty much. that was the, I did that, I think I said last week, I did that a little while ago. Mm. I'll just get, get, get anything else so I can get any more trophies. And then 200 hours later, still on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I've recently yeah. Rocket League, played that forever. Yeah, it's a, it's a great game. It is a, so it's a, a tremendous shooter. The best shooter that you can get. Yeah, it's it's and yeah, it's free common. for the most part. Yeah, but but you're great. They know what they're doing. Oh, they absolutely know what they're doing. Wish they'd still make Halo, to be honest. But oh, well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I redeemed. You know, I redeemed uh, a five pound gift card because of the points that, that I had there, which nice. is nice. So I'm just, that's just gonna build them up on my PlayStation account. It's cool because you can buy games, like actual games. I know it's like Sekiro was on there, and Hades was there, and the yeah. Quarry, and a few other st- bits and bobs were there. So that I think that's a really cool program. It, it feels like they've added to it since the last time I looked at it. Yeah, it's a cool little program. If they keep improving it, it'd be great. Because right now it caps at level four, which I got like not long after it started. It's like okay, yeah, we can add more to it. <laughs> we can get get level ten maybe. Just saying. Yeah, I'm not sure why they've done that. Maybe I mean it is still fairly experimental for PlayStation this, but yeah. um, I think eventually they'll they'll uncap it and you'll be able to to earn more yeah i hope so but the campaigns are cool you know you can stream from playstation as well so if it you know one of them is just playing a game then you can just stream it that's cool but i will say this streaming on playstation nowhere near as good as streaming on xbox oh really really like i've got my ps5 um with an ethernet cable in the back of it uh right next to the internet router in my in my living room yeah right and it was struggling. Oh dear. And I have good internet. Like I'm over 500 megabytes per second internet. Nice. I've got an Xbox Series S in our bedroom. <laughs> and I did Mortal Kombat. Uh, sorry, not Mortal Kombat. The Injustice 2 um, thing earlier on. And it was perfect. No lag, nothing. Nice. Yeah, it's very good to cloud gaming. I will say. It's not as good on PlayStation. I'm sure, that, I'm sure it'll get better. But at the minute, it's not as good. Yeah. Shame. But yeah, Xbox has been great with cloud gaming. Like I wouldn't, sure, I wouldn't yeah. play an entire like long game on there. Like I No, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't play Final Fantasy on it or anything. But uh, No, 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 no. Um but it is if you want a quick jump on a quick game or something, uh, then yeah, it's it does the job just fine. Definitely, yeah, especially for like these quests and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um but to be honest, that is pretty much um all that I've been all that I've been playing, all I've really had time to play in all honesty i've been playing e-football but i always play e-football the amount of hours that i put into that game is quite staggering to be quite <laughs> honest um but i play it and i enjoy it and if you play if you enjoy what you're playing then i guess it doesn't matter what you play yeah exactly um, but yeah i think i've been playing like 20 25 year old games oh golden eye oh of course golden eye i found <laughs> his weakness <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um it's aged like a 25 year old game yep <laughs> it's old but it's it's cool it's still cool but it's still golden eye yeah you can shoot anywhere and the guys will still die it's awesome yeah it's like the most played speedman my like most popular speedman in game there is still and uh yeah there's a reason for that it's because it's, <clears throat> it's well loved and it's you know it's a cool it's a fun game it's what it is yeah it it is, yeah, and you know what? It is still a fun game. Yeah. But the music is awesome. The music's always been awesome. <laughs> Graphically, again, it's a 25-year-old game. Um, but in terms of fun, it's still very much that. And yeah. I don't think you could really ask for much more. You know, if you subscribe to Game Pass, you've not got to pay for it. If you subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, you haven't got to pay for it. Um the only thing I wish the Xbox version had, because I think it would be cool for us all to play it, would is multiplayer. Yeah, that's a shame. It's weird that they didn't. Like, I get it how it works on on Nintendo. They've just got that service to make them play anything online. 
Yeah, which is cool. Uh, Very but, cool, actually, yeah. Yeah, but it would have been nice to have that on Xbox as well. Definitely, yeah, definitely. And it's weird because if you remember, I don't know if you remember, they brought out um, a version of GoldenEye on PS3. Oh, did they? Oh, was it yeah, like a and it... GoldenEye, like they have some, some different subtitle, like GoldenEye Rogue Agent or something. Uh, it was the same game as far as I'm aware, but it was oh. Daniel Craig James Bond instead of Pierce Bro- Brosnan James Bond. Oh, I do vaguely remember something like that, yeah. Because I remember playing the multiplayer, local or beer. I'm not sure if it ever had online multiplayer or not, but that was really cool as well. Hmm. The game itself wasn't great, but you yeah. Know. Yeah. That's cool, though. But yeah, yeah. I'll, but I'll that's play... the only thing missing from the Xbox version is multiplayer. Yeah. But I'm I might stream that because I never actually played it all the way through. Um, because I obviously didn't have an N64 growing up, it's at the PS1. So mm. yeah, I might stream it. Oh, also, if you own Rare Replay, you get GoldenEye as well. Yeah, that's very cool. Like, that's Rare Replay is, like, came out like early last year, didn't it? It's cool that still... No, I think it was even before then. It was ages ago. It was an Xbox One game. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. It's, but yeah, yeah, it's very cool that they've included that. Because it's a Rare game, after all, so it makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, but also, it means that like you know, licenses aren't unobtainable. Let's go. Other games that have licenses that are awesome. Yeah, here comes the pain. Let's do it. I was thinking No Mercy in WrestleMania 2000. Yeah, that, you know, too. Yeah, too. that too. <laughs> yeah, um, all the wrestling games. So yeah, yeah, all the just all the wrestling games. I'd love that to be honest. Just a yeah. wrestling game collection, and I'd be set for life. Yep, same. That'd be so good. Just cut out, just they could cut out they could do that now, and it would still come out before AEW Fight Forever. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the reason for that. <laughs> I think it said it to you last night, uh, the other night. Yeah. Um, it's funny they're having trouble getting a T for Team rating in America, which is what's holding them up, which is weird. So that's because they've got the blood and gut stuff in there, isn't it? Probably. That, yeah, that's probably what's doing it. I'd just say, who cares? But it's Ember Mature. It's, you know, it's the same, yeah. people, the same people buying this game or the same people that watch it on TV. So clearly they don't care. Exactly. And I don't know if you'd noticed this, but uh, nine year olds don't have neck beards. Yeah, <laughs> it's just true. I haven't gone into the next so, page yet. And also, who really... I, I don't condone it, but who gives a shit, right? You know, we were all playing Grand Theft Auto when we were kids. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. You know, there are kids whose parents buy them GTA 5 now. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? No, doesn't, having an envelope mature rating isn't going to stop kids from buying it. It's like, no, it isn't at yeah. all. <laughs> Just fucking bring it out. <laughs> I, I would imagine it's done. Yeah, it's got to be at this point, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Hopefully soon. Fingers crossed. We'll, we'll be saying this next year when WWE 2K24 is about to come out. We'll be like, well, maybe AEW Fight Forever will come out soon. <laughs> yeah. Cody Rhodes is still in it. <laughs> <laughs> and CM Punk, yeah, the back's still there. Cody Rhodes and CM Punk still both in the game. <laughs> God damn it. I just really want it to come out. I really want to play it. I really want to see what they've done yeah. with that engine. Yeah, me too. I want to be able to play it on Switch. <laughs> I, I, I would absolutely love that. I yeah. will, uh, providing it's not an absolutely horse shit port to Switch, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I would love that style wrestling game with that engine on a Nintendo console. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Good stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, right, well, let's, uh, let's talk about the games. Uh, so we're in February now. We literally are. the 1st of February right now. It is. Um, Where did you go? Talk about the uh, games of the month that yeah. are coming out this year, this month, this year, I almost said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Um, Still recovering from the rumble. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I know you feel. Uh, so coming out tomorrow, the second, uh, Deliver Us Mars, the sequel to Deliver Us the Moon, which came out a while ago. Mm. This is a like atmospheric, um, I know it's not really a horror game, but like a... Uh, let's see what it says. A sci-fi adventure taking you on a suspense-fueled high-stakes mission um, to recover something rather, damn it, it cuts great, off. Great, great, <laughs> amazing, amazing description of the game. It gets cut off. Um, high stakes mission to recover. <laughs> recover the and Ark the Colony. Ship. Mission to do something. To do something. Uh, to recover the Ark Colony ship stolen by mysterious Outward. Mm. Mm. It's very cool. Like sort of an open worldy, deserty or Marty, or, or space game. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's pretty deserty, cool. you know. Yeah, deserty. The deserts of Mars. The de- yeah, that's it. The deserts of the deserts of Mars. Um, yeah. Did you play the first one? Uh, I've not. I didn't know what it was. I thought I, was, I thought it was like a like a building sort of game for some reason, like a survival game. 
but no, it's yeah. more of a story focused uh, game. Yeah, yeah, it is, and it's super pretty as well. I think there's a there's a native PS5 version. I think it's on um, PlayStation Plus. Oh, is it really? Oh. Yeah, I'll check it out. It looks pretty cool. From what I've seen, but this Deliver Us Mars looks pretty damn cool. Yeah, it is cool. I've played Deliver Us uh, Deliver Us the Moon only a little bit of it, but. Um, yeah, I played it before the native PS5 version came out, so uh, I'd like to check that out. It's not very long either. Yeah, cool. Not at least I don't think it is. Awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, we got your favorite game of the year, potentially Hogwarts Legacy. Yes. Oh, dude, I'm so excited! I can't wait. Like, I, yeah. I genuinely can't wait. I'm super excited for it. Like, <laughs> yes. I can't. I just can't wait to go. And I'm excited for for Kay to play as well because she's a big Harry Potter like geek, I guess, for lack of a better term. <laughs> no. She's and you know just for there's something special about being able to navigate worlds that you sort of love on film and TV and stuff like that. Navigate them, but in game with a bit of freedom, like maybe see bits that you can't see or you and you know that you don't get to see or explore in the films or the TV shows or whatever. Uh, but I'm super excited for it. I hope it's as good as it looks because yeah, it, looks, it looks fantastic. Previews have been super positive for it. And I just hope that it's, uh, I, I hope that it lives up to the billing. I really do. Yeah, it looks great. I'm not a Harry Potter, not a Harry Potter fan myself, but it does look very cool. So hopefully it's it's up to, uh, lived up to expectations. I hope so. Yeah, me too. Uh, you have a game called Wanted Dead, which I'm assuming isn't to do with the Wanted film about bending bullets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we remember that? Yeah. Also, what a reference. I know, right? It was, I remember the, the 360 game, which is actually really there good. It was a game, wasn't there? Yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it. No, hang on. Was it really good? I don't remember. But I remember, I remember, <laughs> I remember having fun with it. I remember thinking, this is a game. I can, you can, you can shoot around like cover and things. I was like, well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. Okay, who else was in that film? Actually, Let's have a look. Uh, I don't remember. Got it so long ago now, I can't even remember. Let's have a look. <laughs> um, Wanted, but this isn't that. It's, it's definitely a... Angelina James McAvoy. Oh, okay. Uh, Morgan Freeman's in it because, of course, he's in everything. Of course, he is. <laughs> uh, Terrence Stamps in it. Good. Commons in it. The rapper. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and Chris Pratt is in it. <laughs> he's Super in Mario. It. Yeah, this is an old film now as well. When did it come out? Two thousand and eight. So it's like well. fourteen, fifteen years old this year. Holy Funny. shit! Good game, right? <laughs> the guy and no, it's nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Wanted Dead. It's the new hybrid slasher shooter from the makers of Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. Hmm. Right. Okay. It's pretty fun. So it's gonna have bouncing boobs and rock hard gameplay. Yep. <laughs> Slashing, shooting. It looks really cool, actually. Ninja Gaiden, the yeah. new slashing, shooting, and bouncing boobsing <laughs> game from Team Ninja oh, or yeah. whoever. <laughs> Very cool. Um, we have Return all coming to PC uh, on cool. February fifteenth. Very cool. Probably game. My, probably my favorite game on PS Five. So look forward to that, PC guys. Really? Mm, it's so good. So so good. It is good. Yeah, it is good. DLC, please. Hurry up. Yeah. There is DLC coming though, right? I hope so. There was that free deal, free update DLC they brought out, which is also very good. But one like proper substantial DLC, come on. Mm. And Elden Ring, come on, get on with it. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, this is this is the universe saying, "No, Finn, play the games that you've got to play. <laughs> then we'll consider the DLC." That's fair, actually. Yeah, that's a good, good point. <laughs> Elden Ring DLC in fifteen years because Finn's finally <laughs> yeah. playing his backlog. <laughs> okay. I'm no better than that. I'm, yeah. I'm no better than it at all. I'm worse, probably. <laughs> In fact, we're just as bad as each other, no doubt. Yeah, there's too many games, man. There's too many games. Yeah, there is. There's just too many games, and you want to play all of them. You yeah. want to, you want to see all of them. Yeah, seriously. Uh, anyway, right. Mm. Uh, so on February 16th, we have Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line, which is a rhythm game based on Final Fantasy. It's the third one. Such a bad name, though. It's it's a weird name. Um, there's been then two other ones on 3DS, I believe. Which are both very good. Okay. This one's coming to PS4 and Switch. Uh, and yeah, Final Fantasy music is excellent. I believe there's a demo that's just come out. I'll have to download that later. Um, theatre bar line. The- theatre rhythm. All one word. 
Theatre rhythm. Theatre rhythm, all one word, which isn't a word in the first place. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing with these games, man. They just make words up and also just put other words in random orders and expect you to just accept it. <laughs> Pretty much. And you do because Japan. Yeah, I guess Japan is just like that. Final like, all... Fantasy, song game, rhythm, theatre, fighting sword, one. <laughs> Pretty much. I can just look at Kingdom yeah. Hearts subtitles. Like, 382 out of four days, or whatever it is. Yeah, um, why? <laughs> mental. Um, chain of memories, stuff like that. Anyway. <laughs> a game called Wild Hearts. Coming to PC, PS5, and Xbox Series S slash X. Wild Hearts, Wild Hearts. Yeah, Wild Hearts. Uh, in each twist on the hunting genre, oh, a technology oh. gives you a fighting chance against fearsome beasts infused with the ferocious power of nature itself. Mm. By EA. Mm. Challenge really? Everything. Yeah, apparently so. EA Games. Challenge everything. Yeah, classic. Oh. <laughs> EA Sports. Big! <laughs> I remember that. Good times. Yeah. SSX games. Great times. Yeah. What did you just say? Was it SSX? Were they on there? Oh, yeah. SSX Tricky. Yeah. And yeah. Def Jam as well? Oh, yeah. No. No, no. Def Jam. That was EA Sports Challenge Everything. That was that, oh, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Need for Speed Underground. Need for Speed. That's, yeah. Good times. NBA, like NFL Street and NBA Street and FIFA Street. They are all well, them big ones. Big. Big. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Games and grabs. Big. big. <laughs> And that was just gonna just gonna be big this week, all in caps. Yeah, big. <laughs> uh, love it. Um, a game called Elderand, good title on street on the. What's that coming out on? PC and Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, explore a dangerous world and find deadly creatures for untold treasure in this Lovecraft Lovecraftian inspired action RPG game. Hmm. Fun, I mm. suppose. Sounds great. Sounds like a game. Like every other game. Lovecraftian. Hmm. What's that? It's like Bloodborne. Right. I think. <laughs> um. The, the, tell you what, the, these genres of games that just uh, just happened now. Yeah. It looks cool. It's like a two D side scrolling RPG. Of course it is. Yeah. I'm sure it's mm-hmm. fun enough. Like every other one. Of these hey, things. look! I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's wonderful if you're yeah. into that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, a Tales of Symphonia remastered, remastered of a GameCube game, uh, coming out mm. on PS4, Switch, and Xbox One. I think it's a PS3 remaster as well. Just a remaster of a remaster. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Ultimate Sackboy. Oh, it's a mobile game. Inside. Is that, that, is that um, bloody Lord Big Planet? That's the same Sackboy? It is. It's got to be, right? It has to be. Yeah, it is. It looks like a, like a mobile Lord Big Planet game, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun enough, I I've never even heard of that until literally just now. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> great. We have Like a Dragon Ishin, which is Yakuza uh, Samurai, basically. <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently, all, all uh, Yakuza games are now going to be called Like a Dragon, which is the title they've had in Japan uh, since the beginning, which is so fine. Where does this fit in? Um, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows. I think like, it's just... it looks all the characters look like the Yakuza characters. Yeah. But they're set in it's samurai times. Yeah, pretty much. It's Yakuza. Or is it something new? I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> there's so many Yakuza games now. I can't give up. I, I know. The, I want to play them, but there's, there's so many. I but they keep them. bringing they keep pumping them out. Yeah. And now they're changing the fucking name and you're like Guys. Give us a chance here. Changing names, changing genres. It's an RPG now. Ah. Who knows? It looks fun, though. It's, oh, it's, no. If you like Yakuza, I'm sure you'll love it. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's coming out February 21st. Uh, and then, February 22nd, we have many, many PlayStation VR 2 games coming out. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. So we have, we went through it last time. I'll go through it quick again. Uh, Hello, Neighbor. Search and Rescue, Moss Book 2, uh, Cities VR, uh, Zenith, The Last City, Light Brigade, uh, Cosmonius High, uh, After the Fall, Horizon Call of the Mountain, Star Wars, Tales of the Galaxy's Edge, uh, Altair, Breaker, Kazuna AI, Trust the Beat, Vacation Simulator, Job Simulator, Phantom Vision 2020X, Sounds Vision, <laughs> <laughs> and Damio, uh, and probably some other stuff that's not listed here. 
Good uh, selection. Good, good selection. selection and enough for people to sort of get stuck into uh, their new PlayStation VR 2 headset that's uh, coming out super soon, actually. That's come around really quick. Really quick. Cannot wait. I'm so hyped. I'm yeah. excited for you, dude. Thank I you. really am. I'm really excited. Cannot wait. Also, there's a kayak game. Kayak, better than life, whatever it's called. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> better than life. I still can't get over that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just kayak, stupid. better than life. <laughs> That's going to be my number one download, like day one by purchase, for sure. Also, you're just setting the expectations so high. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I can really feel the wind in my, in my hair playing in this VR Wow, game. <laughs> this water. It's like, wait, why is there water? <laughs> That's my house lid. You know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's just better than life. Yeah. Water just coming out of your VR controllers. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. We have uh, Blood Bowl 3. Uh, it's on PC, PS4, 5, Switch, Xbox, Series X, S, 1. Calculator. Yeah. <laughs> Smart fridge. What is, what is that? Is that like a... What is Blood Bowl? It's like I know there's like board games for it and stuff, but... Um, oh, yeah. I think it's just based on the board game from the look, look of it. All right, the iconic death sport returns with a new video game of fantasy football faithfully using the latest board game rules and new content. Hmm. Fun. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. I know. It's, mm-hmm. I think it's. I mean, it must be fairly popular for it to get a three. Yeah. Although, with that said, they do keep making Tour de France games and <laughs> this is true. You know, TT Isle of Man games. I don't know who the fuck is buying these games. Yeah, it's a mystery. Or where they're getting the budget to make the games. <laughs> but hey, stop making them games. They're terrible. <laughs> well, hey, someone's enjoying them. If someone's having a good time, then fair play to them. I suppose. If you're enjoying Tour de France. <laughs> Just go and do cycling for real. I mean, pretty much. Because you, you could get your gaming excitement elsewhere. Yeah, there's many, many games that you're playing. Fucking Tour de France, you know, with this Mega Drive graphics. <laughs> Mega Drive. <laughs> uh, good time. Blood Bowl, though, that, that does look kind of cool, but it's not for me. But... Nah, me neither, but it's cool. Right. Uh, Grim Guardians... Uh, Demon Purge on again PC, PS4, 5, Switch, Xbox One, S, X, X, Smart Bridge, Calculator. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a look. It's a 2D action game centered around two demon hunters who return to their school after a mission only to find demon- a demonic castle where it once stood. Conquer the castle, <laughs> blah blah blah. Is it a uh, Metroidvania? How long were they out of school? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, it looks like a Metroidvania. Shocker. Just popping out to lunch. Okay, cool. Come back. <laughs> Oh, what the f- what? Hmm, oh, we're demon hunters now. <laughs> I had yeah. maths this afternoon. What about you? I had English or whatever. <laughs> well, now that's cancelled. We're demon hunters. All right. <laughs> grab your sword. Anything inside. Yeah, gra- gra- <laughs> <laughs> grab a sword. And uh, now we just go back into school and we're, we're awesome demon hunters. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. We'll probably, have ma- we'll probably be magic now as well. <laughs> probably. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, look- it's cool. It looks like yet another uh, Cosmania inspired Metroidvania game surprising that shocker but it looks fine. <laughs> it's fine <laughs> uh, uh, we have a company of heroes 3 which is the third game <laughs> the um, third <laughs> the third game in the series company of heroes <laughs> is such a great description yeah uh that's big, a war game right i think i believe so uh bigger than bigger and better than other company of heroes 3 combines hard pounding combat with deeper strategic choices in a stunning mediterranean theater of war Jesus. Uh, it's like okay. a top-down army game, sort of. Oh, it's not like a FPS? I thought For some reason, I thought it was an FPS. Is it a strategy game, is it? I did too. Um, but yeah, it's more like a strategy game. I think it was an FPS uh, Comedy of Heroes game, like a spin-off. This looks like oh, more okay. of a strategy game. Fair enough. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we have Octopath Traveler 2, coming to PC, PS4, 5, and Switch. It's a, cool. a, a, a JRPG 2D old-school Made by uh, Square Enix. First one was great. Just wanted to know that we also be great. A Square Enix game that won't be shit and yeah. bomb. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's the one. It's the one that's right in the wheelhouse. RPG, old school, pixel based, turn based. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I, yeah, you know, I know we had that. We were talking about Square Enix last week, um, and you know what? I actually think for spoken looks okay. I yeah. keep seeing clips of people. Like going, oh my god, the dialogue is so cringy, and I watch it and I'm like, what? Why is it cringy? No, no cringy. Is it because 
Is it because it's things that people say outside of their house? <laughs> yeah, it's no cringier than any like TV show or any other. No, it isn't. Me- bit of media you find these days. It's like, who cares? Game looks like, It's just something where she's like, I shot magic out of my fingers or something to that effect. Yeah. People are like, oh my God, it's so cringy. <laughs> like, look, wipe your chin <laughs> and leave your house. And then you'll see that this is how people behave in real life. <laughs> it doesn't seem cringy to me. I, I you know, I, I, thought, I thought it was just perfectly fine. Yeah, looks fine to me. Uh, you know, it's one, one to get in the sale, probably. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll wait till it's plus. heavily, heavily discounted. Yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah, it's fine. Um, what else we got? Uh, Al- Al- Atelier Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key. <laughs> oh, fuck off! There are so many no! of these games. That that's, are... that's not a real game name. <laughs> this is one game in a mix of probably hundreds at this point. There are so many of these games. Um, obviously, they're popular because people they keep making them. This long. So many. I have a bunch on 3S3, so I've never touched. Is it the same people that play Tour de France? Is that what this is? <laughs> no, it's actually, so what's that called again? Uh, Atelier Riser 3, Alchemist of the it, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> has sat there and thought, this is a great name. This is so, uh, We're winning out of titles quick. What else can we call it? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some words. Give me some words randomly. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's... Key... Uh, Oh, fine, I'll just make some up. It's about an alchemist. <laughs> oh, God. This trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That's the that start of a trailer. <laughs> Not eat. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a JRPG, shocker, uh, about alchemy and stuff. Oh, I'm very surprised, given yeah. the amount of words that that tile has in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that's funny. Um, you know, I forgot we could do this. We could have the, the, this ticker on. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Hang on. We've got the fancy I forgot we could back. do this. Yeah. Here we go. Look. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Kerbal Space Program 2. First one came out okay. a long time ago. Did come out a long, long time ago. Uh, it's upcoming space flight simulation video game in the development, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it's a space sim, but like comedic. And if you space... like the Kernel Space Program, you'll like the Kernel Space Program 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's just like a fun little wacky space flight simulator kind of thing. It's yeah. cool. It's fun. It's only a bit different. Uh, what else? I think that's about it for the big names. Oh, Destiny 2 Lightfall expansion on the 28th. The big expansion. Yeah. Another one. Fuck you, Destiny. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't play it. You can't make me. Yeah. <laughs> no. You might force me to play this. <laughs> But yeah, I'll it's, be there, that, like, it's, it's Destiny. It looks Destiny great. Destiny it up. Yeah. It looks great. Uh, I'm assuming Destiny 2 is just Destiny Forever now because I don't anticipate there being any sort of... Oh, well, I've not seen anything to suggest that they even are considering Destiny 3 at this point. Yeah. If there is, it'll be, it's a long, long way off, I'd say, because there's still plenty of life in this. Still insanely popular. Just, just call it Destiny and have everything there. Yeah, you know everything from the first game, everything from the second game. Just have one enormous universe. Yeah, I mean, no one's playing Bayon- uh, Bayonetta it's because it's Red Bayonetta on there. No one's playing Destiny One anymore, are they? No, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> no, just combine them. You know, just have it as Destiny. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. so that's that. That is the games of February. What's what the it? highlight of the month for you? Uh, clearly, it's going to be Alchemist. Uh... I'll tell you <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> Alchemist of the End and Secret Key. Alchemist, uh, Table, Spade, Grass, Kingdom, <laughs> Thrupples. <door. laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, well, any, anything VR, to be fair. PSVR cool. 2 in general. Uh, Play Resident Evil 8 VR, to be honest with you. Can't wait for that. Is that a launch day game? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Uh, cool. if... uh, for me it's Hogwarts Legacy I'm really oh, excited yeah. for that of course or well, of, of new game now I'll say Horizon Call of the Mountain which is coming out day one yeah I think that's going to be awesome um, it does it's, it looks like it's like free moving right so yeah, pretty much. Uh, control with the analog sticks like the games like the actual game yeah and from what I've seen yeah it looks really good it has a lot of, pos- <clears throat> lot of positive uh, previews oh, so... it looks phenomenal yeah. it will be phenomenal as well it'd be so good like, it'd be great to see 
that world and them enemies in VR. I think it's cool seeing anything in VR. I think VR is awesome. Yeah, me too. I I really love VR. I cannot wait. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great. I'm really excited for you guys. I look forward to hearing all about it when uh, when it when it does come out and when you guys have played it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to hear about yeah. it. I might stream some or make videos and stuff like that for VR. Definitely do. Yeah, definitely yeah. do. Cool. Yeah. Um, the PlayStation Plus games are are out now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, they're not out to download. I mean, they've announced them at least. Ah, got you. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, so let me just have a. <clears throat> uh... See that PlayStation advert, by the way, the live from PS5 thing? Oh, yeah, that's awesome, actually. Really cool. Very cool. Really, really cool. Uh, here we go. So, Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Fuck you, Destiny. <laughs> Damn you, Destiny. Uh, Evil Dead the Game, which rips, to be fair. Yeah, cool. Maybe we could do that for game night. We could have a, like, stick a private server together and uh, a private room together and we could do uh, Evil Dead the Game. That'd yeah, be good. That'd be awesome, actually. Yeah, we should do that, for sure. Uh, Ollie Ollie World, which is great. Nice. And uh, Mafia, the definitive edition. Oh, okay, great. <clears throat> so, yeah, good. Good selection of games. I like it. And the games with gold collection is, guess what? Oh, shit. <laughs> Garbage. Stop doing it. <laughs> There's no point anymore. Yeah. They've just neglected it so bad. They're just like, oh, shit, we need two games to, to throw out. If <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing it. There's rubbish of the garbage. What can we find? Yeah. <laughs> What did no one buy? Um, oh, okay, this. <laughs> Just chuck any old garbage out. I don't even know what they are this month. I, I saw them earlier on. Saw the box art. I was like, I don't know what any of them games are. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, no, February 2024. That's the future. Um, let have a look. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, these uh, well-known games. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, it's Nolan. Which one is it? Oh, the minute. Okay, yeah. Here we go. It's uh, For the King and Guts and Golds. Great. Yeah, there's two classic uh, <laughs> Xbox games. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> for crying out loud, you know? Just start, it's, it, it has gotten to a point, though, where it is pointless now. It, it really is. Like, no, one's, no one cares about it. Everyone's all about Game Pass. That's all you need. Yeah, literally. If you've got, let's be fair here. If you've got an Xbox, the likelihood is you've got Game Pass. So, yeah. people don't need games with gold. No. Exactly. Like you don't. Yeah. I mean, you know, the PlayStation, the PlayStation Plus stuff, that's tiered. So you know, you still get good games every month with the just the essential plan. Yeah. And then you know, as you go up premium, you get the game catalog or whatever, and it's that's a good way of doing it. Yeah, exactly. Whereas games with gold is just so <laughs> pointless. Nobody wants them games. <laughs> Yeah, I could play uh, all these awesome like Horizon, Halo, and all this cool stuff, or mm. I can play this shitty games not heard of. That'll take me yeah. like two hours to complete. <laughs> yeah, such a waste of time, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, uh, the Royal Rumble was this past Saturday. Yeah, and for the most part, I thought it was good. Yeah, me too. A solid night of wrestling. Yeah, I thought the men's Royal Rumble was uh, really good. I thought there were some cool moments in there. Yep, very cool. I mean, that, that spot between Ricochet and Logan Paul jumping into each other was very was, uh, very memorable, very cool. Yeah, really, really cool. Great visual as well. Yeah. Like when you when you see it back and like you see the pop from the crowd and stuff, that was really cool. It's the sound of them hitting. It's like a psh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really good. And I thought also it did a good job, the men's Rumble match, of setting future stories up like, or, and, or continuing current ones. Yep. So like Lashley and Lesnar. Uh, it was funny. good, you know. Lesnar came in, eliminated a few people, and then Lashley was the one to eliminate him. It's good because they're sort of booking them as equal at the minute. Yeah, and then Lesnar had, which is the correct thing to do. Yeah, and Lesnar threw a hissy fit outside, breaking things. Which, yeah, uh, made sense because it's Rock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, uh, but then, no, I really liked yeah. it. I'm looking forward to the inevitable Lesnar versus uh, Lashley match. Yeah, definitely. Um, I liked, you know, the continuation of the Judgment Day stuff with Edge. Yeah, that was cool. And Dom Dom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And, uh, yep. Dom, con, con, con Dom. Yep. Yep. Ex con Dom. Yep. <laughs> and so that, that was really good as well. Um, you know, when you look, when you look at it, I mean, we were sort of, when you look at it beforehand, we were sort of like, you know, it's quite open this year, but when, you know, Cody enters at number 30, there was no way he wasn't going to win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No Sami Zayn, but 
what happened in the night. It made sense because they got seven pounds with Sammy. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, the payoff at the end was well worth Sammy not being in the Raw Rumble. Yeah, for sure. That was a, that was a huge, that was a huge, huge moment. Oh, it was absolutely huge. But I, you know, I thought I loved the the end of the Men's Royal Rumble. I thought the the back and forth between Cody and Gunther, who, by the way, was just absolutely incredible throughout that whole match. And it's amazing now that we're finally starting to, you know, see what WWE think of Gunther. Yes, Gunther is so, so good. Well, ever since NFC UK, I've always been a massive fan of Gunther or Slash Water. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's incredible. And I'm so glad they're finally giving them the push he deserves. On the main roster, uh, yeah. Imperium, Imperium in general have been just awesome, and he's been—he was literally in number one, stay until the end. I think he's broke Rey Mysterio's record being in there for over an hour. Yeah, um, yeah, one hour, eleven minutes, and five seconds, or something like well, that. Yeah, it's just, it's just awesome. Fair play to him, and yeah, I look forward to seeing what what's next for him. But the, you know, there was you know the showdown between him and Lesnar. Yeah, I would love to see more of that. I really would. I mean, he's a future world champion, definitely. When they split them championships up, yeah, um, then yeah, I think there's no doubt that Gunther will eventually hold one of them. Yeah, and it's hilarious that people have uh, very quickly, you know, not care about the name change anymore. Yeah, it's just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, now it's yeah, if it's, it's strange, he's just Gunther now. Yeah, because everyone hated it when it happened, but now it's like he's kind of got used to it. It's like okay. Is it just Gunther now? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's Gunther and oh, it actually doesn't matter. Yeah. It really doesn't. It's the I would say Gunther's a better name than Walter. Uh, yeah. About the same sort of Yeah. Gunther. Yeah. But either way, way he says it. Gunther. With yeah. <clears throat> but either way, you know, it's, it's it was really cool to see him last so long in the Royal Rumble, do such a great job. And you know, he spent very little time doing minimal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he wasn't sitting around in the corners or anything like that. He was constantly amongst it. Yeah, throwing jobs at everyone. <laughs> and that takes a real engine, especially to do it for an hour and 11 minutes. It's nuts. Yeah, crazy. Fair play to him. But, but yeah, Cody Cody Rhodes, you know, won the won the uh, the Raw Rumble and will go to WrestleMania. Mm. It's going to be quite interesting WrestleMania, I think, this year. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens on the next, on the SmackDown. I think SmackDown is going to be the big show where things start to... Things like to happen. Is there a whole lot yeah. happen on Raw? I know Rhea Ripley said she's going to challenge Charlotte. Uh, so it's going to be Charlotte. Which is versus... good. It's good. Although there is a match on SmackDown between Charlotte and Sonya Deville for the, for the championship. So it's a bit like they've kind of... I know it's, I know it's obviously going to... Charlotte's obviously going to win. But in kayfabe, it's like they're looking over Sonya Deville a bit. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. That makes Sonya look a bit yeah, bad. Yeah, they've already put the... the graphics and stuff together, haven't they? Yeah. It makes Sonya look not so great. Like the ball, you assume she's not going to win mm. in gay fame. Um, but... Or big swerve and she does win. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I doubt it, but you never know. Well, yeah, same. Um, but it's, um, yeah, WrestleMania is going to be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to SmackDown. I'm looking forward to seeing the continuation <clears throat> of the storyline mm. because, I mean, it, it was done so well. Yeah. It's like the, the bloodline stuff at the end of the Raw Rumble. It, it, was, worth, it was worth staying up for. Yeah. Big time. And I, I just think the the payoff w- was excellent. It really, really was. Just the, the way that it all played out, it was the best storytelling that WWE have done in wow, well, like, so so long. Yeah, potentially ever. Maybe the best story. Potentially ever. Yeah. Yeah. There's the anticipation when Samuel was holding the chair. He was like, was unsure. It's people just building up. Like, can't hit him. Hit him. Hit him. And when he finally hits him, just a massive pop from the arena. It's huge. Huge pop. Massive. It was, it was just, yeah, it was so good. The way they all acted it out was so good. And, and then way- for Jey Uso also to sort of mm. seemingly turn face as well, you know, leads to some quite interesting questions because Usos are still the tag team champions. Yeah. So what do they do there? You know, do they continue to defend the tag team titles? Is Jay leaving one big swerve and we're going to see KO and Sammy against the Usos or... You know, there's a lot of questions now because, you know, we are going to have Roman versus Sami Zayn. Yeah. Apparently that's, gonna, and... that's in for the Elimination Chamber, apparently. It hasn't been announced yet, but that's what people are saying. Well, it, that's in it's in Montreal, isn't it? Uh, of course. That makes sense. So it makes sense. I mean, will it be for the championship? You would imagine so. But if it is, then Reigns wins. 
You'd think so, wouldn't you? And it's like, let's up. Yeah. And map one. Mm. And we one. And, yeah, I don't know. It... Yeah. But again, you know, it does leave things up in the air a little bit, which is good. Yeah, it is good. It's many possibilities. Yeah. But it, it was just done to perfection. You know, we all knew it was coming eventually, but we didn't know when and we didn't know how. And um, when, the, the, when they did pull the trigger at the end of the Royal Rumble, um, it was... I mean, when we knew that Roman and Kevin Owens was going on last. Yeah, we knew something big was going to happen. You know, yeah, I mean, we knew something was going to happen, but I'm glad it did, and I'm glad they did it the way that they did. Yeah, me too. Very cool. Uh, yeah, speaking but... of Rhea Ripley, um, amazing performance from her in the Women's Royal Rumble. Yeah, great. I'm happy Rhea won. Um, big fan of Rhea Ripley, again, ever since NXT UK. She's been great. Mm-hmm. She's pretty um, up to her game, I guess you could say, this past year with the Judgment yes. Day. And yeah, she's great. This whole thing with Dom as well. It's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> yeah, really, really good. Um, I think the only misstep really on the um, uh, on the whole card was the Mountain Dew pitch black match. I'm still very confused by the whole thing now. I'm not sure what the payoff is or where it goes from here. Yeah. Um, obviously, they sort of teased some Alexa Bliss stuff at the end of Alexa Bliss's match. Um Perhaps not as much as what people were thinking would probably happen. Me being one of those people, yeah. Uh, so we don't know what the payoff for that is. Um, but I thought it was weird. I didn't. Oh, look, I'm all for gimmick matches, right? I'm fine with that. For me, what ruined it and what made it look shit was the Mountain Dew sponsor all over the arena. Yeah, the like Mountain Dew in the middle of the ring, all that stuff. Like they all thought Bray's face paint, like glow in the dark face paint stuff, was very cool. Looked very creepy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, just having the Mountain Dew stuff is like, because it's been built up to be all this, this spooky, like, character, like, no one knows what's going on. Mm. Sponsored by my, my Mountain Dew. Just kind of, uh, <laughs> it ruins the whole thing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, the final spot with um, Uncle Howdy, Bo Dallas, probably, jumping onto uh, LA Knight was cool, but he did completely miss, didn't he? It was just totally a, missed, yeah. <laughs> it was just a shame. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a letdown that match. And they, I think they need to do something with Ray sooner rather than later because they're building up to something, but it's taking a long time. What's going to happen? I think it's time to pull the trigger and let and do something. You know what I mean? Me too. I think what hasn't helped is the fact that they have done such a like a, like a massive build up to Bray versus LA Knight at the Raw Rumble, and sort of not really given anything away in between. We've had like Uncle Howdy turn up and, you know, he's been on SmackDown, he's been on Raw confronting, you know, Alexa Bliss or whatever. But yeah, the build has been way too slow. Now we need some sort of payoff. Yeah. Because, you know, there's only going to be a certain amount of time before people um, get bored of it. I like Bray. I'm a huge fan of Bray and I want to see him do well. Um, For me, this was a little bit of a misstep, the Mountain Dew match. Yeah, me too. uh, Which is a shame. Yeah, and uh, Alexa's match, I barely even remember. It just done, flew by. I think I must have zoned out of the whole thing. <laughs> well, I think it, I think everyone was so defeated by the Mountain Dew match that yeah. people didn't really know how to take. Well, because, again, they probably anticipated that something was going to happen in the Alexa match. And the match was, you know, it was okay. It wasn't, you know, again, it's not going to stick in the memory. I'm not going to go back and rewatch it or anything like that. But, yeah, I, I don't know. The, the singles matches were the... The in-between Rumble matches matches were yeah. a bit of a letdown. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, otherwise, Rumble's matches were great. Main one was great. Uh, also, Asuka coming back with the cool new face paint with her, like, yeah. pre-WWE gimmick, sort of. Looks very cool. Just, like, trimmed down a lot as well. Not that she, not that she needed to, but she looked great. No, no. Chelsea Green's back. Yeah, she got eliminated straight away. <laughs> she, yep. popped, she popped up and wore. Wanted to do complaint to the manager. She's kind of going to be like a yeah. Karen sort of <laughs> character. Yeah, I read that that was what they were going to do with her. But I think she's, you know, quite up for, for doing funny stuff. Obviously, yeah, she yeah. did the hot mess gimmick in Impact for the longest time. Um, she's been a couple of different... Uh, she was a couple of different gimmicks in Impact. She was Laurel Van Ness when she first came in. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And then she was the hot mess, obviously, with the makeup all over the place and... <laughs> just being crazy so um i think she's pretty versatile in what she can do so uh, i'm excited to see what they do with her obviously they've got a plan 
And it's good to see her back. I think she's a real talent. And I think uh, she'll be uh, a good boost for the women's division. And obviously, Piper Niven came back. Yeah, that's cool. Piper Niven, they've dropped the do, I guess. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But it's cool that she's back. It looks like she's going to be a real badass. She's going to be on Raw next week in a match. Cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, all in all. Yeah. All in all, very good. Yeah, really good. Likes it a lot. Oh, nice. Yeah. Axe came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> uh, the Blur think... in the Bloodline? That makes sense, right? Mm. Th- people are saying it's just a one off. Some people are saying it's not a one off. So... She's got a t shirt. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. This, oh, I don't, it's not a one off, I don't think. I think she's back back. Damn. Why? <laughs> she's always been bad. She hurts people. What she does, yeah, I, and I would imagine she's going to be on SmackDown if she wasn't on Raw. But uh, yeah, I, I think she's back. Back. I don't think she's. I don't think it's one and done. Well, it's good what I said, wasn't it? Yeah, good, good, <laughs> good stuff. But we'll we'll see how that plays out, I suppose. But uh, hey, look, if she, if she's gotten better, then fine. I doubt it. No, I doubt it as well. <laughs> but you you know you you can be optimistic, I guess. Yeah. But um, was it Danny yeah, Book? Danny uh, Book has a job somehow. Awful, absolutely <laughs> fucking awful. Yeah, well, I um, she offered very little to that Royal Rumble match. In fact, it showed how bad she is. And I don't like slating people, no, me but either. there are much more deserving people working, uh, you know, not for a big company that are a hundred times better than Dana Brooke. Yeah, it's strange. I don't understand why she's still around. Again, I don't want to slate people, but she's, she's not gone any better. She's been there no, for years. No, she's terrible. Years. I mean, um, Kay said that, uh, you know, she does a lot of the charity stuff alongside Titus O'Neil, who, of course, as well, we don't see her wrestle a lot. True, true. But, you know, is that a, enough of a reason to keep her around? I'm not... I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. It's very, It's very confusing, and it's a shame because there's a spot there for somebody who is genuinely very talented and good at wrestling, and she's not that. Yeah, speaking of talented people, uh, Roxanne Perez, her debut in Rumble was really good. I thought she showed off. Oh, she was great. I thought yeah. she looked really good. Didn't look out of place at all. No, but she did a great job, great little showing when she was in there. Um, yeah, very impressed. Same for Zoe Starks as well. Yeah, Zoe Starks was excellent as well. Happy to see them yeah. both in the in the Rumble. Yeah, that was really really good. Um, so obviously now we move on towards the Elimination Chamber. Mm. Uh, and it's, you know, so the main event's going to be for the United States title inside Elimination Chamber. Interesting. And the women's Elimination Chamber match is going to be it's going to determine who wrestles Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. Yes, correct. So, yeah, um, it's all looking pretty good at the minute. Cody obviously came out, did his, did a very Cody promo. Cried uh, a bit. Did a little bit of fake crying. <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Um, and, yeah, it... It was very Cody, and he's super over. Yeah, here it is. Uh, one thing I liked uh, with, the, with the Women's Elimination Chamber, like the last four in the Rumble automatically qualify, which is good because yes. that makes sense. It makes like the Rumble like kind of mean a bit more. Mean something, yeah, yeah. If you don't win it, um, uh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, it's very cool. That was uh, Liv Morgan, uh, Asuka, uh, Raquel Rodriguez, and someone else. I don't remember. Candice LeRae? No, Candice LeRae lost. She's in next week's match, isn't she? Yeah. I don't remember the last one. No, either way. It okay. was, Liv, yeah, so Liv Morgan, Oscar. Yeah, oh, I can't remember. Oh, but um, either way. And something else. Yeah. Uh, I th- so that's cool. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Um, you know, next week, it's, as I said, do job Carmella, who's coming back now. Seems to come back with that old yeah. gimmick as well. The Princess of Staten Island. Yeah, which I'm okay with. Yeah, that's cool with me. Uh, and uh, Candice LeRae and someone else. Do drop. Um, sorry, Viper. Uh, yeah, of course, for fuck's yeah. sake. Piper Niven. Piper Niven. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. I got there eventually, so. Yeah, we got there. Yeah, so it's going to be um, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to the Elimination Chamber. I'm looking forward to another Saturday night pay-per-view. Yeah, me too. So, you know, so that's good. I'm looking forward to WrestleMania. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with, because obviously Beth Phoenix has turned up a bit. Do we see Beth Phoenix and Edge versus Finn Balor and rear elimination chamber because obviously rear's wrestling in the main event of wrestlemania for the women's title so yeah i think that makes sense yeah it's a good place to put it yeah yeah well oh yeah i think um it's vengeance day this saturday nxt it is vengeance day this saturday actually yeah, yeah. that could be fun 
I've been watching, I think that'd be good. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of NXT, but I do tend to watch the specials, so it should be good. Yeah, yeah, I, I usually watch the specials, I, and I really enjoyed the last one. Yeah, um, yeah I, I like um, I like NXT a lot. Uh, it's just again, it's fi- like with anything else, it's finding the time to watch it. Yeah, seriously, it's too much wrestling. But um, it's all good. Did you see the Did you see the trailer for WWE Two K Twenty Three? I have actually. Yeah. Cool. Looks the more. gameplay trailer they showed today. Oh, I haven't seen that one actually. No, I've only seen the, the cinematic stuff. Ooh, I need to watch yeah, it. there's a there's a game there's a gameplay trailer that came out today. Oh, I missed it. So um, yeah, definitely definitely check that out. It looks good. Cool. It's cool that they've got war games in there. I'm buzzing for that. Yeah, it's awesome actually. War games. Yeah. War games. Uh, but I'm excited for 2K23, man. It's just it'll be here before we know it. Like they're literally seven weeks away or something. Ten weeks away. Yeah. Love it. So yeah, good times. But. Um, yeah, Raw Rumble was good. Uh, Raw uh, was fine, but I'm really looking forward to SmackDown and seeing what sort of happens next with the Bloodline stuff. I think that's going to be really fascinating and uh, the, the really the thing to watch over yeah. the next couple of weeks. Uh, I think it's probably... I know that Cody is wrestling Roman Reigns, but I think keep him off SmackDown until... So I would imagine he will cross over to SmackDown at some point. Yeah, Maybe keep him off SmackDown until after the Elimination Chamber so that we can let the Sammy stuff sort of play out a little bit more. Uh, and give that its own time to breathe. Yeah, I agree. It makes sense. So, yeah. Um, Dynamite tonight. Um, I always look forward to watching Dynamite every week. Uh, Samoa Joe versus Darby Allen in the main event for the TNT title in a rematch. Ooh, that'd be good. Uh, so, that'll be pretty cool. Um, I'm glad that they finally allowed for a Jay Briscoe, Jay Briscoe tribute last week on Dynamite. Yeah, that was very nice. Um, yeah, I think both guys in the match did a really good, really good job. Um, and yeah, under the circumstances for sure, yeah, yeah, but yeah, just, yeah, I'd say I'm glad, glad they finally got it to happen. Yeah, I'm glad Tony Khan fought for it, and I'm glad that he got it. It was, um, you know, it's everyone says stuff that they regret, or, you know, or you know, can learn from and, and grow as a person. And you know, Jay Briscoe was that, and it's a real shame that he that he passed away because they are or were, should I say, one of the best tag teams. Um, in the world, yeah. So uh, I'm glad that Mark Briscoe got to be on uh, Dynamite Wrestling Jay Lethal in the main event last week. It was a it was a nice touch, and I'm glad I'm glad that they did it. Um, yeah, I'm glad that they did it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but yeah. Anything else you wanted to discuss? Um, I think that's about it, really. There we go. Yeah, that's all good. Another episode in the bank. Yeah. Big. Yeah. Big. Challenge everything. <laughs> Man, EA was cool then. It was. So cool. Yeah. Remember when the Mega Drive games had the, like, the little yellow lip on the side? Yeah. Yeah, they, 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 had, they, had, they had like the stand up They had the bigger of the two cartridges, didn't they? Because yeah. like normal ones. And then you had that yellow with the Electronic Arts logo in there. Yeah. I kept trying to like, push it to do stuff with it. So what's this do? What's it mean? Yeah, what's the point of this? But now <laughs> we just know it's pointless, and yeah, it's still cool though. Very, really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good times. Right, this has been episode one hundred and sixty-eight of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that is across podcast services everywhere, everywhere, and YouTube.com forward slash Games Grabs. Be sure to check out Added Time. Again, on the Games and Grabs podcast feed, coming in video form soon. Finn streams at twitch.tv forward slash the Finn Steel. And you can check us out on all social media at Games and Grabs. Finn is at the Finn Steel. Mm-hmm. And I am at Sunny underscore club on Facebook. Uh, sorry, no, on Twitter. And at Sunny Club on Instagram and Facebook. So go check out all that stuff. And we will be back next week with a brand new episode of the Games and Grass podcast. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sunny G, and I've been here with Finn Steele. We'll Thank see you. you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye. Challenge everything. <laughs>